You have to get out of the shot, Clover. <laughs> Ser seriously, you're right. You're right in the shot, dude. Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm sitting next to my oven right now. Well, I'd love to talk to you about the possibility of storage underneath your oven in this little drawer. Or is it storage? Now before we get started, if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and click that subscribe button to get more home and cleaning videos and bonus music vlogs on weekends. Now I'm on the floor because I wanted to talk to you quickly about some hidden storage that may be in your kitchen. Maybe. If you go into your oven, you most likely have a little drawer at the bottom of your oven. And some of you may have been storing things in there and you're probably wondering, really? What is this for? And can I store things in it? Depending on the make and model of your oven, this may be one of a few things. One, it could be just a storage drawer in which you are perfectly welcome to store anything you'd like underneath this drawer, extra pots and pans, uh, sheet pans, some extra grilling tools you can't fit anywhere because I know those are really strange sizes. Some of them are incredibly long and you just can't fit them in the regular drawer. This is a great place to store those items. Two, it could be a broiling drawer in which case, I would refrain from storing things that can possibly melt under extreme high heat. This may be especially true if you have a gas oven and the heating element is on top instead of on the bottom. And three, this could be a warming drawer. So the warming drawer is actually designed to keep food hot or warm after you've cooked it. So let's say it's Thanksgiving and you're making a casserole, but you're also making a turkey and you're also making green beans and you're also making like 10,000 pumpkin pies. What are you gonna do with that stuff while you're like talking to grandma and like chit-chatting with Aunt Flo? You're gonna be wanting to keep some of that food warm. So you can stick food right inside this warming drawer and it keeps the food warm while you're waiting for everything else to cook or while you're gossiping with Aunt Flo. It's a pretty handy function to have, and our drawer is actually a, I found out just today, a baking drawer, a warming drawer, and a slow cooker drawer, which I actually haven't really tried, so that's gonna be a fun experiment for me to do. Now, how do you know which one of these functions your oven drawer has? Look at the instruction manual, it'll definitely tell you. One quick side note, that's another reason not to ever keep instruction manuals that you don't have to keep around. You can just Google the make and model and they're there online. You can download them as a PDF if you really wanna print it out and read it and you know go to bed with it, put it under your pillow and osmosis. Um, but most, uh, most electronics, especially the ones in your kitchen appliances, everything like that, the manuals are online so there's no reason to keep one of your valuable kitchen drawers full of, of appliance manuals, there's really no reason. That being said, we haven't actually used our warming drawer for warming food or keeping food warm or any of that stuff. So we actually have been using it for storage and we just have been keeping some strange pieces of our oven that we got that we just don't know what they're for. We haven't had a reason to use them yet. The pizza stone is in here and the little holder for the pizza stone and this very strange little steam uh, steam thing here that uh, I guess it's good if you're making souffles and stuff, but I actually haven't used it and we've had this oven for at least two years. So technically, you can use that little warming drawer for storage if you really don't use it, but just don't put anything there that can melt under high heat. It still will get hot even if you aren't using it. I put a uh, microwave plate cover in there and the top totally melted and I didn't even have to turn on the oven drawer it just got super hot in there and it melted the top of it. The other thing to consider when dealing with this drawer, if you're gonna be using it, is it needs to be, I think, cleaned more than any other part of your oven because it's closest to the floor and it's you're walking around kicking up so much dust that periodically you're gonna have dust on the top of the drawer and actually inside the drawer as well. I've often found that crumbs from the oven actually migrate inside the drawer as well. So it's a really good thing to keep on top of the mess inside of the warming drawer. So that's it. I hope you learned something today. I certainly did. I didn't know ours had a slow cooking function. I'm gonna maybe try it out. I don't know. If you guys like videos like this, give me a big thumbs up. And uh, let's talk in the comments. Is your drawer at home a warming drawer, a broiling drawer, or just storage? Tell me in a comment down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.